10 law there and then we're just going to keep putting bodies on the board the prince john's another prince john less working yeah a little <laughs> less working with uh, with albert being in top deck mode but uh, it's still just a body that quests for two i think we sometimes forget that prince john just quests for two um you know it's still a, still a great quester so we've got four uh five six seven eight nine it's a lot of lore on the board right now Seven, eight, nine. You're right. Yeah, nine lore on the board, and, and just wow, has the answer every time. <laughs> and that nine. was a nice, beautiful, enchanted. Um, and then along came along Zeus came that he Zeus. just played. That uh, was. And does Albert have anything? He does not. Yeah, no. Nope. Looking for the bee prep because it's uh, the only thing that's yep. really going to give him any chance to keep him. But yeah, I think it's going to be a shuffle up and go to game two. So Alexandra, just showing the power of discard there. Can get some of those answers that he needs with that Ruby Amethyst. We know that it's such a strong deck, and uh, but Emerald Steel was just kind of steamrolling over everything that he brought out. Yeah, just had the answers. Albert can can take a win here, I think. The, the, the Ruby Amethyst uh, is just the most consistent deck in the format. It doesn't necessarily have... Uh, any incredible matchups where it just really runs over things, but it doesn't really have any terrible matchups. It has all of the, um, it just has all of the sort of solid answers uh, throughout. Just got to see them when you need them, really. Obviously, uh, the main uh, issues for Albert here is knowing that the discard is coming. So uh, you may well yeah. see, like, be prepared, uh, you know, got rid of earlier in the game, mulliganed away, definitely, but even, uh, you know, used, uh, uh, you know, got rid of as, as much as possible because it just isn't going to survive in your hand until you need it. Uh, hopefully he'll be able to find it when he needs it, if he needs it. And the same with things like friends as well. Sure. Yeah, so Albert, you know, he's not playing a very aggressive deck, but it feels like that might be some of the strategy to get lore early against an emerald steel that can just really get going mid late game exactly yeah i mean a lot of the uh, emerald steel's answers early game are the are, are the steel removal spells so it doesn't really matter whether your characters are exerted or not when they're as yeah. far as they're concerned so you may as well just start getting that early value out of them and exactly what we see here rafiki a challenger you know the, the a card that really is there in the game to deal with board presence, but here uh, it just becomes a quester because early on Albert knows that that early lead is going to uh, really pay off. Yeah, and Alexandra didn't have anything on turn one, but now he's playing an Ursula and can take a look. And Albert does not have any songs, but we do see two Queen's Castles, a fox, and a mini mouse. Yeah. Uh, so it's good to know for Alex. Uh, I think, I wonder if we'll maybe keep hold of those. Uh, castles this time we saw a few of them get inked in the last game but i do actually think they're quite a good answer here alex kind of needs the along came zeus for them uh, no we're still deciding to ink one of them uh, but it's still a perfectly fine play um and then we get a mini down which is going to be a really great quester again uh, is we're going to be requiring a steel removal answer here yeah those locations can do a lot of work and like you said really you have along came zeus and then until he can get some bigger bodies on the board uh, on Alexandria's side, there's uh, those Queen's Castles would do a lot of good. They would probably yeah. last a couple turns at least. And get I, I feel so. I, I feel like it, yeah. Uh, we ink a, a Robin Hood for an Ursula Deceiver of All, and we're going to cut away just for a moment. Uh, there was a judge call at that point in the game. Um, nothing major. We were just... But now... So the Ursula Deceiver coming down there from Alexandru. Uh, and now I think it's back over to Albert. And once again, I just have to point out the beautiful enchanted Ursula Deceiver of All that he's played here. Um, one of the most beautiful enchanted arts, I think, of of that, that Into the Inkland set, that Ursula is fantastic. And that's the one with the joint art, I think, by John Lauren and yes. Nicholas Cole. And who, Nicholas Cole. Yeah, I mean, both smash it in their own rights, but when they They're, come together, they make some yep. amazing stuff. <laughs> And we do see the Queen's Castle come down. I think that was a good move for Albert to bring that onto the board. So I think so as well. It may well have just been that uh, the other one needed to be inked the turn before because that mini mouse yeah. is going to put a lot of uh, questing work in again. You see Albert here just kind of really keep the tempo up as far as questing goes, the uh, the mini mouse and the Cusco, and there the castle down as well with Alex not really having a great answer for it um, unless we do see uh, the, um, the Along Came Zeus. Yeah, and if he could double sing along came Zeus, that would be... <laughs> uh, luckily, you can't. <laughs> uh, luckily, it's a four drop, so Ursula isn't able to. Oh, that's right, uh, yes, Although she, yes. is, uh, she is double singing rent, uh, Strength of a Raging Fire, I think. 
Oh, he's inking uh, Strength of oh, Raging inking fire, fire, and he's doing Let the Storm Rage On on Rafiki and Cusco. So he will get to draw off of Cusco. Uh, you know, Rafiki, he he gained like three lore. I think yep. he was out there for a few turns. So Absolutely got some work in there, and then yes. Alex obviously draws two cards there with, uh, with uh, Let the Storm Rage On being played twice. And then we see Age of Far Dreadnought coming down as well. And he's singing with his other Ursula, Sudden Chill. So uh, Albert's going to have to discard. And we see Lady Lynch Tremaine. Rain. All right. So we get two lore off the castle. Um, so it's I feel like that was quite a turn. strong turn there for Alexandru. Huge turn. Yeah. Got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, work going on there. Was able to clear up uh, two characters off the board, uh, discarded a card from Albert, drew two cards himself, developed his own board state, yeah, just did everything that Emerald Steel wants to do. Yeah, and even though he's still sitting at zero lore, as we've seen in previous games, uh, he he kind of tends to sit back there for a while and then just ramps up real quick. And we see a fox being inked there for a Maui, which takes out that Ursula. Have enough singing from her right now. <laughs> and then the, uh, the mouse continues to quest there on her surfboard. Yeah, Minnie is a great, great little card. She's just a one three, I believe, and but she quests for two. And being evasive, um, she can do a lot of questing. And character wise, I don't think there's any evasive characters that um, Alexandra has. But of course, he has all the all the damage songs that he could bring in to take care of Minnie Mouse. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's definitely what uh, what he needs to see here is is some sort of steel removal for her. There's uh, a lot in there um, that stuff's going to be able to deal with. Strength of Rage and Fire, as long as his board state is big enough. Along came Zeus uh, also as well. So uh, definitely answers, but um, Albert's just going to keep questing with her until uh, Alex finds one. Yeah. yeah. Minnie Mouse is also one of those cards that every time I play it, it just makes me smile. She's just so cute on her surfboard. <laughs> yeah, I love how all the minis just seem to be living their best life in this game. They, they're, they're, I they're think out of... And... Yes, all the mini characters. It's like if I was going to hang out with a Disney character in Lorcana for a day, I would absolutely choose Minnie Mouse. She's having <laughs> the most fun. Uh, Bucky there coming down and being the third character so that Strength of Raging Fire deals three to her. And then Jafar... Uh, finishing off Maui there. So again, another good turn. Uh, both players really playing at the height of their games here, I think. They're both uh, seeing the uh, the cards they need when they need them and playing into their outs. Um, but yeah, we, we've sort of seen a replay of the of the game one here. Early law lead for Albert, but then yes. Alex just being able to uh, start to take control of the game the longer it goes on. I think the fact that he played that Queen's Castle, though, a, a couple turns ago was really smart because even though uh, Alexander's been able to clear his board of characters, that's still gaining him lore every turn. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, uh, Rabbit here to draw a card and then moved over to the castle. One of my uh, favorite so moves. Castle survives the <laughs> turn, which it, I'm pretty sure it will do at this point. Um, we're going to see a lot of card draw next turn. Let's see, he's exerting four. And along came Zeus is going to do five damage there and then take it out all the way with Ursula. Yeah, that's uh, that's the answer he needed for it at that point. Uh, so at this point, again, Alex is going to try and put some bit more stuff down on the board and, and hopefully bring the tempo back into his favor. Uh, just a lone rabbit there for Albert. Um, uh, yeah, but still cards in hand, which at this point in the game against a discard yes. deck is, is pretty impressive. <laughs> yep, so he has five ink, and he just exerted for to play another rabbit for a card draw. He hasn't inked this turn. We do see him put a mini into his inkwell. Quest of the rabbit, keep that lower pressure on. Uh, again, obviously, if the if the rabbit does get taken out by something, you're drawing a card as well, so you don't necessarily mind turning that sideways. So with with six ink, he does have. Um, I'm not sure what he has in hand, but Lady Tremaine and Madame Medusa are both in his deck. Mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> I was gonna say he didn't have a good target for either. You know, maybe the Bucky, but with Beast coming down now, that's <laughs> yeah, that's pretty big. The uh, tragic hero coming down, and then obviously Bucky seeing that tragic hero to discard. The Pinocchio, um, and now I think we're in there. No, we have one card in hand, I think, so we're not quite yeah. into top deck mode, uh, but we will be after inking the mini. Uh, and for there's the Meta Medusa. Medusa. We'll get rid That's, of the beast, yeah. yeah, that was the answer that Albert needed for sure there with that beast. And he didn't even, I don't think Alexandra got even a, a single card draw off of Beast, so that's really fortunate for Albert because that extra card draw from Beast is so, so um, advantageous. Absolutely. 
Uh, it was a really great couple of turns from Albert. Managed to build up a decent board state here. Oh, we see a Beast Relentless, which I think is the first time seeing mm -hmm. this. A fantastic card in Emerald. Uh, Beast Relentless says that you can ready him whenever another character takes damage. It can Actually, any character can take damage. He can take it himself. It can be one of yours. It can be one of your opponents. And they can take damage through any different way. Uh, it doesn't matter. And he just gets to ready. And not only that, uh, the real key thing for this one is that he can still quest once readying. A lot of the readying stuff in the game uh, will say they can't quest for the rest of this turn. Beast doesn't say that. So there's definitely uh, some really fun lines you can do with a lot of the steel uh, removal spells and Beast, uh, not only being able to clean up the board, but instead also now getting lore as well uh, with, the, uh, with the Beast readying. Yes, we did see a little bit of bounce there. So he quested with Rabbit, bounced it back with Fox, and then replayed it. So we got to draw a couple cards there, which is good. And he's didn't quest with anything, though, before passing the turn over to Alexandru. Um, what are your thoughts about that? Uh, yeah, I, I, um, I think at this point, he's going to have to start thinking about what that beast is able to do. Uh, obviously, if you're giving your opponent targets to damage, I mean, even that mm -hmm. Ursula going into something and not uh, banishing it, it's still going to have that beast be ready and uh, can very quickly get out of hand. Here we do see the beginning of that sort of combo happen. Uh, Beast is able to quest for two, readies, and then um, uh, let the Storm Rage on there, he's drawing a card. That's game. Yeah, but, yeah uh, Albert had enough lore on board, so... Yeah, and I didn't Al have an answer for it, so that was, uh, that was great. So best of luck to both Alexandru and Albert. It really is anybody's game. And it's going to be exciting to see what, what we got here. So it looks like they've already altered their opening hands. And Alexandra will lead us off. We got a fist bump going into it's the, the final game. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> nice, bit of, uh, nice bit of camaraderie going into the, uh, into the final game of the three here. Absolutely. You know, the, the Lorcana community is just so fantastic. Everyone I've met um, online and at my LGS has been so wonderful. And I love to see things like that with folks in the community just really supporting each other, even though we're competing. Uh, you know, it is a Disney card game and and there's so much camaraderie and support and encouragement among players, uh, all the Illumineers, you know, we're all, we're all here to have fun. Absolutely. It's really great to see. So uh, no turn one play from either player here, but we do see a bookie come down from Alex. And um, yeah, exactly what the deck wants to do. And we're going to hopefully start seeing the uh, the Floodborne targets for him soon. Um, yeah, there's going to be, you'll probably see a slow, slightly slower pace of play here. Um, that, you know, that this, this, this is going to be the game, the one that takes them into the, into yes. the next round. So every line is going to be looked at. Every line of play is going to be thought about and considered. Uh, and that's absolutely fine. Sometimes it's worth just sort of taking a step back, slowing down, really looking at what your options are. So. Yeah. I do see a spell book that, over there in Albert's hand. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if he, he ends up playing that because that's just some nice lore gain. And I don't think that Alexandra really has any answers for items in his deck. No, obviously, uh, item removal is, is most prevalent in steel out of any other color, really. But yeah, it doesn't look like we're seeing any uh, in Alex's deck. Uh, if there's Bengers, they haven't shown themselves yet. Albert might be uh, realizing that and thinking it can come down a little bit and just start a lore game. That social spell book is usually there for the mirror match, honestly. Uh, it's just a way of, so like you say, just kind of keeping that lore gain high when uh, your characters are constantly sort of trading into each other. But instead, we go for a Maleficent, uh, drawing a card, just keeping that handful, very aware that there might be some discard stuff coming from Alex. Yeah, I do see a sudden chill that he has inking, or is he singing it? He's inking it, it looks like, and he has a Strength of Raging Fire there, and he does have that Ursula out, so... Yep, so we're using the uh, Sudden Chill to play a Robin Hood. We do have the shift target in hand, so that's setting up for next turn's play. And then Ursula is going to be doing uh, a ton of damage uh, across both mm -hmm. of the characters there. That's um, that's really quite solid, yeah. Three damage to each, uh, having that Robin Hood come down. Yeah, so Strength or Raging Fire, again, it does damage equal to the amount of characters that you have in play. So mm -hmm. uh, it can be very strong. Yeah, uh, safe to relatively safe to quest with Bucky here. Obviously, there's a lot of rush. Uh, it, well, I said there's a lot of rush. There's Fox in Albert's deck, but Fox does need a target on the board uh, <laughs> yes, to be able yes. to bounce back. <laughs> so while Albert uh, has an empty board, it's fairly fairly safe uh, until you get to five and hit that Maui uh, area. Uh, it's probably quite safe to, to, to quest here. Uh, we see a goat come down from Albert again. Just going to try and keep that law gain rolling uh, against Alex. Yeah. 
And that Ursula, this is first, I feel like this is one of the first games we've seen where Ursula has survived a, a couple turns, which is really dangerous. And if he gets more of those steel songs in hand, could cause a lot of trouble for Albert. Absolutely. Uh, so we see the Robin uh, Hood shift there. Uh, it's just going to start questing. Uh, Robin, again, we've said it all day, a toolbox card is able to quest, is able to challenge, just does everything uh, it says on the tin, uh, just able yes. to just play into <laughs> lots of different play styles, do exactly what it needs to do depending on the board state, and here just able to comfortably uh, quest. We see, although we wow. do see a really great trade there with Goat uh, being bumped up by the Crab, so that's taking out, uh, you know, a big target there. Alex has put a, you know, a few, quite a bit of resources into that Robin Hood. Uh, Goat is gaining lore as he leaves as well, so yeah, it's a, a pretty solid uh, trade there, I think, from Albert. Yeah, I think not letting that Robin Hood sit around uh, is a smart move. He is the champion of Sherwood, after all. Sure is. <laughs> uh, we see a Prince John coming down. Again, we now have the Bucky and John online. So any Floodborne is going to have a card discarded by Albert and a card drawn from Alex. Uh, so a really great two-card combo there. Yeah. What do you think these players, you know, this we're at the quarterfinals, this is final eight, game three. Uh, how do you think they're feeling nerves and uh, just their mental state right now at this place in the tournament? I, so this is the this is the real key uh, match moving into the final. Although this is if this is top eight, uh, they've all they've secured a um, uh, Mickey Mouse Brave Little Taylor at this point, I believe. That is true. Yes, uh, you know, and 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 in, for me personally, that's the that's the prize <laughs> for these. <laughs> uh, obviously, you know, uh, the higher you go up, the more packs you get, the extra, uh, the full set of foils and and enchanted, and there is a trophy for first as well. Uh, but really, if I was coming into this uh, and really trying to make it all the way, uh, I would be able to personally have a little bit of a sigh of relief once I once I guaranteed myself one of those Mickey's. Uh, but even still, you know, it's it's one of the top tables of the day. Uh, you're yeah. on. Uh, Dream. You've got a, a thousand people watching, or however many it is. Um, yeah, so the pressure is definitely going to be on. Uh, and obviously, you know, different players react to that differently, right? Sure, absolutely. And, and I know a lot of players, um, especially some of these uh, players that are at this high level, have come from other games and probably have some experience playing at, in tournaments. And so I'm sure that that experience really helps with things like nerves and all of that. So for newer players to tournaments, you know, the more you play, the more you're out there, then uh, the more comfortable you get in these situations. Absolutely. We got six law or six, excuse me, six ink over here on, on Albert's inkwell. So he is one ink away from being able to be prepared if he has it in hand. I don't think I've seen it in his hand yet. No, is this oh, going to be... Is that it? There it is. It is definitely going to be an answer he's looking for at this point. Alex's board yep. is uh, starting to get a little bit away from him, so I think maybe a, a reset here is probably needed. Yeah, he has it. He must have just drawn it. What Do you do you think that's the right move here, to quest out with a rabbit and crab and, and wipe the board? Uh, it may well be, yeah, because the Ursula being able to sing next turn uh, is 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 a lot of pressure, especially if that's a, a discard card. Prince John is going to refuel the hand again. Uh, if you quest with Rabbit or Crab, you're going to be giving uh, Alex value with the Jafar trading into them. So, uh, yeah, I think there's something to be said about having a bit of a reset here, but um, maybe not. Maybe we'll see another line. Instead, we see a Rabbit come down um, for another draw. Sure. Perhaps looking for a better inkable so that next turn we can be prepared. That may well be is as well. Uh, we see a Pinocchio is able to exert the Ursula. Crab is able to go in there. So that's a, uh, a pretty nice challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, maybe just seeing the line there and being able to keep board presence up whilst removing the bigger threats from Alex's board is, uh, is some really good play. Sure. Yeah, keeping those characters in place so he can keep questing. Uh, in now that he was able to see that he could take Ursula off the board, maybe he feels like there's not as much of a threat there on on the other side. Absolutely. Uh, we see six oh, here for a, a uh, giant tink. tink. Finishes off the uh, the crab there and takes out the Pinocchio. Puts one on each of the rabbits. So, yeah, pretty solid turn there. Not shifted. We, we rarely see the shift target for uh, Tinkerbell there. We, it was something that was played a lot earlier in the uh, earlier sets, metas. 
Uh, but now a lot of the time you're you're just kind of happy putting her down on six as a uh, a, as a good body then uh, a lot of the time earlier on you would play the tiny tactician to get her out on four Uh, but the game uh, as it's developed has moved a little slower for the most part unless you're sort of up against a real aggro deck Um, so usually you're more than happy to have her come down on six actually and it looks like, yeah, Alex is not running those tiny tacticians in his deck. So uh, you can play it on, on six or you could shift onto morph if you really wanted to. Absolutely. Yeah, if there was a morph down, it would have been a nice shift because it would have cleaned up those rabbits because uh, she'd have been able to quest in and then, uh, sorry, challenge in and then do the two damage to the other one. Uh, but even still, the Jafar able to take, take the one out and then draw a card is, is really quite good. Oh, it looks like a Be Prepared might be coming here. He just quested, yeah. and there it is. There it is. So we get a card draw off the rabbit uh, for Albert, and then Alex uh, gets a hard reset. Uh, just in time, I think, there, the Be Prepared yeah. for, uh, for Albert. I did see, it looked like a Beast Relentless. Ah, and there it is in his hand. So it's something to watch out for. Yeah. Uh, now, if he is. had a Tremaine or a, well, Medusa wouldn't do it, I don't believe, but a uh, Tremaine would be very nice here. I think he's going to wimble it down off the board. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure whether that was the top deck. I feel like it might have been the way it might came, have been. Uh, the way it came down. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, the response needed there. She is one of my favorite ladies in chairs. Yeah. And a long time Zeus. Yeah. Back and forth, the long time to taking it out. We do have a couple to uh, left over for a sudden chill. There we get rid of the fox. fox. So we got yeah, these two empty players. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's like a really a reset here. Yeah, and just, <laughs> and just uh, single digit law total. So you, you wouldn't think we were as late into the game as you would, uh, other than looking at the ink. We see a castle come down and a Cusco and enough to move the ca- uh, Cusco to the castle. Great turn from Albert. That's going to be a really yes. good way to uh, uh, to start getting back into this game with law gain and most likely card draw as well, uh, unless Alex finds another along game Zeus. Yeah, if he had a, another Let the Storm Rage on, he's played a couple this game. I'm not sure how many he, he might have left, but he could, um, you know, take out that Cusco if he wanted. But I'm sure he's wanting to get a body on the board so he can uh, keep up with questing as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, these players, they're, they're thinking hard, looking at, at what's out. Another Tinkerbell. Yeah. Uh, again, mostly just getting this down as a big body at this point, I feel. Uh, it does obviously take a little bit of damage into that Cusco, but we do see a card draw and two lore off the castle there. It just shows you what a great uh, comeback card it is after a Be Prepared. I know we talked about this a little bit yesterday, but uh, a lot of people saw locations and were like, oh, these are Be Prepared proof and <laughs> thought that we'd see played against Be Prepared. But actually, no, we don't. We see them in the same deck as Be Prepared here with the castle. Yes, uh, just absolutely. as a really great way to uh, to start to refuel your game uh, after <laughs> after doing one. So uh, another, a mini is a great line there as well. And a Rafiki just putting stuff down onto the board. Moving um, them I both over. I don't, and, and why not? Yeah, you, you've you got the ink to do it. You may as well move stuff across there just for that card draw. I don't believe Alex is running uh, Grab Your Swords, so it's not so awful going a little wider here with uh, with some smaller characters uh, as far as Albert is concerned. Yeah, that Tinkerbell over there is, well, that he can't do anything now because he doesn't have anything exerted. So the Queen's Castle, yep, would be the only thing that he could he could do some damage on. Yeah, and along came Zeus, did find it, and uh, was able to get rid of it. So that's, you know, that's kind of huge there. It stops the two law game, but also it would have been three card draw. Yes, <laughs> that. yes. Um, yes. So ab- absolutely was the right <laughs> play. And, you know, arguably the, the downside of the locations is that uh, they don't crack back, you know, so you are able to put some resources into getting rid of them, and, and, it, and it's usually a relatively fair trade. Obviously leaves that Tinkerbell open there. Uh, we're going to put Cusco into her, mostly because uh, Cusco does draw you a card on uh, on Banish. So again, we're just digging through, seeing answers. Uh, this is really good. We can see some great play here. Rafiki goes in as well. Um, I don't suppose he would like to put the mini into her. I think we're going to quest instead there. Yeah, uh, but just putting that damage on her now, meaning next turn, uh, that Rafiki then is threatening to to finish uh, finish her half. The, uh, the surfer there obviously being evasive, so Tinkerbell currently isn't able to go into her. 
Yeah. I think a lot of players feel like, uh, especially newer players, that if you're going to challenge a character that you want to be able to take it out in one swoop. But here we see him just putting uh, some damage on, on Tinkerbell, not taking her completely out. Um, and like you said, so then next turn, if Tink t- decides to challenge into one of his characters um, or it, quest, then he can take her out, you know? So th- yeah. there's a little bit of that forward thinking, you know, that you don't Absolutely. have to do everything all at once. Uh, we managed to find the third along came Zeus. Uh, that's the that's the three of them now played. That's uh, th- Alex is running three copies of that, and we've managed to see all of them in this game. So, uh, really, he's the king of the top decks here today. Just absolutely yes. finding those answers as he needs them. Um, all right. So we have a quest uh, from Rafiki, which suggests another be prepared, and it yes, is. Yeah, and it is. Yep. Uh, not quite as much value out of that one as uh, as he got from the first one, I think, but still uh, absolutely fair to do there at that point, getting rid of that Tinkerbell uh, and the Prince John. Uh, okay. Ursula takes a look at no songs, but we see a rabbit. Madam Medusa, I think. There we go. You're a bit quicker than me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah we'll Mad- we'll, Madam Medusa. Yeah, I was going to say, we'll see that Medusa come down, take out the yep. Ursula. And yeah, this is going to be a real back and forth game. Albert just creeping ahead with the law now at this point, uh, but there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of back and forth now. Albert just able to uh, keep hold of some cards in hand. Uh, yeah, we, uh, there's sing, the friends. Seeing friends with Medusa is kind of huge at this point, which is going to refuel his hand. Uh, but I feel like uh, Albert's going to really start pulling away with this now. Yeah, cards it... in hand, better body on the board, uh, more card draw. Uh, all the ink he needs to do stuff with. Yeah, I think it's probably in Albert's favor, but we'll see. And he's going to bounce that rabbit back for another draw. Yeah, yeah. he's just, you know, a, a minute ago, he only had one or two cards in hand, and now it looks like he's has a, a full hand. <laughs> Almost up to a full hand again. Just uh, Amethyst doing Amethyst things with the best yes. package and the card draw there. Yeah, and just able to, again, extend back out again with Minnie Mouse and Rafiki. Oh, wow. And uh, so not so great. Some top decks here, double Bucky. I mean, if we do see a Floodborne, it's going to start emptying out Albert's hand. But at this point, I think he's... Uh, kind of safe just being able to start questing out a little bit here. Uh, those bookies just, they're just not, they're not quite, they're not challengers, you know, they're just not there to uh, to challenge into stuff. So uh, if that's all that's on the board, definitely going to be able to start gaining some lore here and really put in the pressure on. We see a rabbit come down, we see a castle come uh, down. Castle. Yeah. Just absolutely closing this out, I think. Yeah. Uh, again, He's a four in to four really eight. good shape. What do you think Alex is looking for here? Uh, a miracle, I think, honestly. I, I, <laughs> fortunately for Alex, I, I can't really think of too many lines here that are going to help. Uh, again, we're not see, we're not running Grab Your Sword, which isn't going to get rid of some uh, stuff in a big way. Uh, Tragic Beast is a good card here to empty Albert's hand uh, from two cards, but at the minute, four, five, six, seven, we still have enough on the board. Albert still has yes. seven law. He's, the bookies are going to have to go into something. Uh, they're able to trade freely there with Rafiki because he only has uh, his challenger. He has no uh, strength and, unless he's challenging. But the and two off there, game. and that's yeah. Game. yeah, it's enough. I think that goes to 20. Wow, that was that quite was a fantastic. Yet, but yeah, there we go. Yes, <laughs> that was a fantastic game. Both 